Hello. Well, we're going to do this. It's early enough in the day, about 11 o'clock or just after 11 by I don't know what. <coughs> oh dear. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to see how far I can get in. I'm going to give myself sort of 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours, roughly the day to see. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. How far I get in doing this painting. Right, so let us begin. I haven't loaded up my pen. I haven't done anything that I perhaps I should have done. But this is me. And, and if I'd thought about it, I would have had all this sectioned off all ready to go but this is all part of the diamond painting isn't it so I got that, do we think yet? Yeah. There we go. Right, so we have that. Let's find my cutty tool. My cutty cutty. There it is. This one is such a lovely painting. Realistically, I suppose what I should have done was um, just put cover sheets on this. But I want to get to see the picture as we go. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got one hell of a clag on, as they say. Right. Now, I have one, two, three, four. Right, so any of the numbers I'm going to do now because they are the ones which I do. They're A, B's, and they, I tweezer them. So, I suppose what I could do is what I usually do when I've done these. Well, what I usually do. And when I first started diamond painting, I did it. <clears throat> Let's go in a bit closer. And, um, oh my God, it's rounds. What? What? Oh no, I thought it was squares. Oh well. Oh dear. Well, this is going to take a little while then. Because sometimes I can multi-place, you know, about three, sometimes four squares, especially with tweezers at time on these things. But no, because the rounds, you can't do that. <coughs> Oh, for God's sakes. <clears throat> right. Okay. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to do the whole top row. <sighs> because it's just going to be silly otherwise, isn't it? Put them down there to reuse. He can be reused and then we will just go. Oh, look, I've even got a cat bloody line. Oh, Mother McCrady didn't quite go through. I have ordered a ceramic cutter. But when it's going to make its arrival, <clears throat> is anyone's guess. Well, right, there we go. That one's off. Right. <clears throat> Not a multi-placing, isn't there? And I've got my bent tweezers. 
Oh, I forgot it was round. Damn. <coughs> yes, you know I prefer it when it's squares. My breakfast still. Mmm. Peanut butter. Usually I like it with cheese. Peanut butter and cheese. If you haven't tried it, give it a whirl. Got to be cheddar cheese. Strong, mature cheddar cheese. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And don't dare mention peanut butter and jello. Gel oh, 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 that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I don't do peanut butter and jelly or jello or whatever. Yeah. Cat can't get used to it because I tidied up a bit yesterday. Well, you wouldn't think I tidied up under my table, but honestly, I did. I made more room to get more stuff under there. <laughs> All I need is a tablecloth and it's covered. <clears throat> and I got shot of my little um, side table which was all very good, but it just used to get piled high of everything. I mean, I had drill trays, um, papers, patterns, you know, um, threadbare patterns, um, you name it. It would just be a junk. It would end up being like Jenga. Oh, another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Hmm. But hmm. Oh, where did he go? it when they go flying off. I over squeeze the tweezers. Oh. oh, it's quarter past. It's coming up for 20 past and I'm a bit late now because I was going to set my um, timer. Oh. oh, my word. <laughs> oh, that's that. My gosh. Such a strong person. Um. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. I've put it for an hour. Let's see how much I can get done in that time. Oh, God. Oh my lantern, oh my, oh my. <laughs> How can I do this? <laughs> <laughs> I can't share, you will be shocked. <laughs>
see Lanjan and Wee Ying are up to no good. <laughs> <clears throat> They will say, don't trust the quiet ones. And boy, oh boy, I think they're right with this. <clears throat> Lanjan is usually a man of very few words, but his actions, oh my God. Poor Wee Ying. Right. Because I lean on half of this pattern, I daren't take off any more. To do this I'm going back to like my old ways of how I used to do it when I didn't have it in sections or anything like that I would just take the sheet off and just dive in right so there we go. That's all those for now. Not going to chase the colours. Where's the lid? There. Right in front of my eyeballs. Right. Now what have we got? Hmm. Lots of lines and lots of nose. Oh, God. This is what's going to take up the time, isn't it? Oh God, well at least I can hopefully multi-place. Forgotten whether I can multi-place in rounds. Sort out the putty. Oh, I didn't sort out my um, glue dot, did I? Let's just pull this bit out a bit. That's all I tend to usually do for a while, is just pull it out. Right, that's these. I don't know how straight these are going to be because they are rounds. Oh, but that's where that one went to. See, look at this. If you don't get them exactly, you end up doing a lot of slippy, slidey stuff. Oh, dear. Ow. That one got in the way, so I... <sighs> yes, yeah, so there's also that to remember. I mean, look, it was just one off, but that one, two, that one there made me place these ones wiggledy biggledy. Um, I'd quite like to try and finish this in one day. And now I know it's rounds doesn't seem as fun because I've got nothing to really well I guess I kick down rounds but I don't tend to you know use my rounds for much oh I suppose I could take them to my craft group and, and they can be perhaps used to cover things mm. I'd think of a few more, um, a few things to do at Craft Group. Because <clears throat> for two weeks, the lady that runs it, my pal, she's um, on holiday. So I'm her like a wingman. So I'm going to ask the girls what they fancy doing for those. That's in May. Should be doing these ones as well. Are we still in shot? That's where I'm 
dotting away and uh, oh god well it's a well sticky Ujima flip canvas I am quite sore and achy today, but I'm tired. But I thought I'd better get up and do something. And realistically, I should be going off up to um, the hospital and go and get my bloods taken. But, uh, yeah, there is a but. I can't be bothered because it's a bit windy and a bit. It's not pleasant out there, so nah, I'll do that another day. Mm. Ah. 52 minutes. I feel like I'm speed painting. <laughs> Give yourself an hour. See how much you can get done in an hour. Can you get a painting done in a day? It depends. If you're up 24 hours, then yes, you should. Well, this size one, you should be able to. But I don't intend to do 24 hours. Oh, it's doing it again. Glue dot time. Just add a little bit to it. I've already got the glue dot in there, but because it sort of gets less springy, I can't. I, I I'm shoving half a glue dot. Just, you know, if it was a new a new fill, then I'd probably do one and possibly a bit glue dots but I only need to put in half oh now it won't control it come on and it begins should have done this yesterday and tamed it. Because now it just doesn't want to let go. And because it's round, you haven't really got anything to sort of latch on to. on my t-shirt, on my skin. We've had 10 minutes. Oh, for knickers sakes. And this is where we've got to. This is the state of things. I keep wondering whether perhaps I should have done the um the other colour first. I mean this bit is all over the bloody canvas, so Oh come on. Could you my flip sakes? Come on. You get this with every new start of glue dot. Oh. Well, I, I don't want that. Hope I got it. Right. <clears throat> 
and lightly touch these and let them go and then I shall press them down. Takes forever that way. Oops. Golly, it's sliding on this. Hmm. Supposed to be hot weather next week, but apparently only Wales. <laughs> so my daughter's safe. She should have some nice weather. Mind you, I don't want too hot. Isn't it typical? Oh, shoot. My cable, charging cable for my um, phone, it broke. And I couldn't find it anywhere because it got stuck in there. I think it was the phone that got stuck in. And um, so I, I thought, I've got, I've got one. I've got a lead somewhere. Could I find it? No, couldn't find it. So I ordered some more of Amazon. Well, yesterday, last night, I found the lead. And I've lost the other two. <laughs> On another good note, I found me magnets. <laughs> They're falling down the side. So that was good. So I don't need to order any more. Well, I might need to because I might not have the right size, but at least now I can see. Oh dear, these little dots are going to take forever. I have three quarters of an hour left to this hour and I haven't done very much, have I? Oh, good golly. Oh, blast it. Right, come on, get on there. Right, let's do this. Might be a bit easier. She said. Hmm. Oh, well, there's a little known fact. I don't know whether it is known or not, but apparently certain airlines, when you can't, you know, you they only allow you to take on one bit of carry-on and all that kind of stuff. But to get around that, apparently if you pick up a duty-free bag and put bits in that, then that could be allowed. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, dear. Oh, dearie dear. That shows the strength of this glue when it actually does stick. Ah. So, um, yes, um, apologies there for my... Rounds. I blame it on rounds. I wasn't expecting rounds. No, where I am with squares. I'm a square girl. Through and through. Oh, God. I wish they'd give you the option. You can have squares or rounds. I mean, look at that. It's just so blimmin' frustrating. Ah! I'm just going to have to leave them there for now until that calms down. Sometimes I lick it and that sounds crazy, but it does kind of work for a bit. But there again, then I start thinking, is this like the match girls? And the, um, and the girls who used to paint the, the, you know, the fluorescent onto the watch dials, clock dials. 
and they died a horrendous death. Because they used to have to, um, they'd have a paintbrush, very fine tip paintbrush to paint the dots and the numbers and various things on the clocks and things. And they would lick them to get the point of the, um, of the whatnot. Yeah, that only got two licks out of that one. Let's see how many more I can get. One. Two. I know it's not neat. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh. Seven. That was a good lick, I have to say. Eight. Obviously, if you're thinking of selling them, this might not be a good idea. Nine. And there we go, we've sort of stopped at nine, I think. Yeah. A slur for my tea, is it cool enough? Ouch, 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 Bernie's, Bernie's. Oh, come on. <sighs> so you can press hard on one side. Where did that one fall? I know it landed here somewhere. It's going to be on its edge somewhere, isn't it? Wouldn't have landed where it needed to be, would it? Oh well, can't see it. I'll find it at a later date. Probably stuck to me. Stuck to me cheek and I'll go out shopping with it. That one flying off that way. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, it's so frustrating. I should have done it earlier. Oh dear. Oh, just get off. They slide a bit on this painting in some places and in other places they don't. So it's not an even stick, that's for sure. Because some places it is so, the first touch and it's welded down. But in other places, it's... Oh, right, stop that for now. Let's just stop being stupid. Go back to multi-placing. And try and get that right. I keep wondering whether it's my multi-placer that's sort of a little, making these go a little out. But then, you know... You can't really make it, you can't, shouldn't really work like that. But yeah, there might be, might be a multi-placing tool that's for squares and a multi-placing tool for rounds and because they're different sizes. And maybe I have a, oh, for sakes I forgot I've done it again haven't I got my stickish rubbish right ah, so what's everybody up to I watch um, um, Craftish Kristen's one this morning. Um, I'm going to watch, catch up on mm. some of Cow Sparkles and some of um, Kitting Up Kittens. And 
who else have I got to catch up? Oh, for God's sakes. Um, plastic glue dots really annoy me. New glue dots. Um, oh, God, here we go again. But, um, and who else have I got? To who else do I like watching? I haven't watched Admiral Zest in a while. So I might have to have a go in and have a peek. And oh, it's done it again. Oh, this is why I end up taking off more than I'm putting on. Oh, dear. The frustrations, they are real. Maybe I ought to just place my tweezers and just see how quick I can do it. At least there's no stick stick to contend with. Oh, my God. Do we think it's a little bit faster? Considering they're rounds and tweezers are better with squares and I'm using a bent pair of tweezers, I don't think that it's doing too badly. Yes, third world problems before, wasn't it? new glue dots they really do need a little bit of time to to settle in and then when they do settle in they don't seem to last you know they last longer than wax oh i've got a bloody headache again tight band around my head. Sharp pain. Oh, this is... I'm liking this. Maybe I'm a... a tweezer convert. Save money on wax and all that like, won't it? And putty. And having the frustrations. And who says you can't use tweezers on rounds? Golly. Well, if we do have call it horrendous sun <laughs> and it's so hot I might have to transfer all this upstairs to the table up there because up in my bedroom I have the air conditioning unit and I have it upstairs is because sort of you know they tend to say heat rises and at the time I spent a lot of time upstairs more time upstairs crafting before I sorted this table out and um, 
And so I lugged. Oh my God, it really did me in. I thought I was going to fall down the stairs with it landing on top of me. A couple of times it was a little bit um, hit and miss and I thought, oh my God, I'm not going to get out of this alive. And I couldn't breathe when I got to the top. I was just... You know, it was safe and I was, it was on its step and uh, on the top part of the landing and I just put it down quickly and, and then I just, oh my God, because you sort of hold your breath as you're doing it and then you sort of feel lightheaded and weak and then, then I started seeing like the stars appearing. I didn't pass out or faint or anything like that, but I felt close. And I laid down on my bed for a bit. I thought, right, well, I'll lie down here. It's upstairs now. I don't care. And I will um, move it in a bit. And so I then proceeded to move it a little bit. Rest. Move again a little bit. Rest. And it's not as, as if it's got far to go. My bedroom's very small and the landing is very small. It's a little postage stamp square. And then, of course, I had to fight to get it up on top of this little unit. And by that point, I was done in. Several times I got so far and then it just hit the lip of the blasted. It was only a low level, like CD sort of two story um, little unit, wooden unit. But it kept hitting the lip of it and then of course I couldn't lift it any further so it was down so I must have done that tried it about six or seven times to try and get it past eventually I did then I just sat on the chair that was nearby and just um balanced it on my leg I think it was and um I just went oh my god That's when a strong bloke, or just a bloke, really could do. I could do with. Can you come and just lift this here. Just do this here. Take this there. Take that there. Ah, oh, there it is. Where are we now? Oh, done half an hour. I think I need to put more drills in this tray. I like to have a lot of drills. If it's a big multi-placing job, I like to have a lot of drills. Oh, I hear a man. What have I ordered? Is he coming to me, Dom? Dom, Desi. I think that, I don't know whether that bend in my tweezers is helping or not. I've got to put the fan on. Getting up a sweat. It's this repetitiveness though, that's the problem with the tweezers. And you're doing this and you're gripping and you're... And I can feel it going all the way up my arm. So I don't think for me it's going to be sustainable to do this. But I do tend to push through. And um, then sort of deal with it at the end. Definitely overpaced myself yesterday, overdid it. Oh, oh God. I even got the hoover. Used the hoover. Blasted rug. It got caught up. And it, um, it's not the best rug. I want to get a decent rug, but... But 
But when I've got a rug, a rug will do, as they say. And it's quite a hard wearing one as well, so. It's one of those rugs I just got off the catalogue, because I wanted a rug and they didn't have much choice. It was red, wine red bit in that sort of Persian style um, you know, carpet pattern. Because I've got like um, oldie style furniture in here. Like I've got a utility wear, I think they call it, that um, table. Definitely World War II table. The drop leaves, one like my Nana used to have. And I've got an oldish style um, sofa. And um, yeah, so it sort of went, but it's too small, really. So when I eventually get round to getting a new carpet, I will. I might get a, a rug, but a decent rug. Alternatively, instead of a, what I could do is, actually that might be a cheaper option. Just get a massive rug that sort of fits the majority of this sitting room over the top of it. That might be the better option. As long as it's a heavy, hard wearing one, because, um, I don't want to be hoovering and it picking up, you know, it coming up into the hoover because I have a Dyson, so it's got a good suction on it. Um, oh, come on. Behave. Behave. What's that from? Answers down below. Oh, I am looking forward to summer when we do have the brighter weather. I'm not looking forward to the heat. But, you know, because you kind of, you recharge. Yeah. I wish this sun and would hurry up and remanufacture more. My vitamin D. I'll get on there. Well, I am now locked in apparently to the DIY DP um, 24. So I'm all set for that. I'm determined to finish my big painting of the Untamed. Because then I need to get a massive frame for that. And then I don't know. I'm not even sure. I don't think it's even going to fit on the um, at the top of the stairs. It should fit. Yeah. But I definitely want that framed. And that's going to be about 160 odd. Uh, best start saving now. As for the DP mashup, well, I don't think many are doing it. I know there's one girl, and she posts her updates on, on my Facebook page, group page. 
So I will do a shout out to Mara. And she's doing um, home, it is. And I tell you what, it's looking absolutely gorgeous. You know, she swapped all the colours around and it looks fab. So I think it's just me and thee that are doing it, which is fine. Absolutely fine. I Means she'll get a prize. As I said, there would be prizes. And I'm not very good at doing these events, I don't know. I mean, I have to say that I'm definitely, I know I am. I know I'm ADD, ADHD or whatever it is. And I struggle with too many things. You know, I've trouble doing one thing at a time. Unless it's my, um, my um, what's it called? Interest. And then, oh my God. I can, you know, like done painting is. I can do this to the cows come home, as they say. Yeah, I might go for a break, but I'm still thinking and sorting out and doing stuff to do with diamond painting. But, um, <coughs> so I can do it to the cows come home. But then, that is just the diamond painting. I've just managed to do the diamond painting and I think the um, filming, because the filming is just me talking to myself, which is what I would have done anyway and diamond painting but if I have to um I can just about add to Facebook I can do Facebook but if it's anything else oh my god I get so confused yes you can schedule yes you can just share the same post all over but then it does get a little bit I don't know I don't know whether that's good or bad And then it sort of becomes a little bit more than kind of like what it started off being. For me, this was started off being my therapy. Um, yes, I am filming, but mainly I'm filming daily. So I try and get some diamond painting done a day. So it's, you know, it's not just for getting stuff out there for me. It's a case of, um, where are we now? I've got 20 minutes left. It's a case of, um, you know, just um, giving me some quality me time. Well, I can think, and as I'm talking about what's happening, you know, yeah, it might be a bit boring, but at the end of the day, what it's doing for me is I'm getting it out of my head. Because my head, oh, it's usually like a radio going off. You know, every single channel all at once, one more so than the other. And you can just imagine me sat there twiddling the dials, you know, trying to find a channel that I that is just peaceful and I don't and I haven't got that but since doing this and I'm talking to the camera and I'm just going what's in my head at that moment in that time oh my word it has helped so much um yeah the radio has not turned off but it's turned down which is great. There is also that, you know, the, the downside. And the downside is when my radio was going off in my head, oh my God, I had ideas galore coming through my head. Absolutely, loads of ideas, loads of, oh yes, do this, do that and the other. And since the radio's calm, I haven't been, well, I've still got the ideas, but they're just in a different format. They're not as thick and fast, should we say. 
they slowly sort of trickle in. So I'm trying to get used to that. And they do say talking helps, even if it's talking to yourself. I find that it's better out than inside my head where it can just go round and round in circles. Because by the art of speaking it, you've got it out and that sort of goes. You, know, you don't have that going round and round your head constantly then. And that is sort of one of the reasons why I do the diamond painting and the filming it. <clears throat> but secondly, what I get out of filming is um, getting to know you lovely people. And I'm not very good with faces. I can never remember faces and names unless I know them, you know, went to school with them or, you know, had lots of interaction with them. But this is kind of one platform where that doesn't really matter. And if you, you know, really think about it it's you're being honest and true to yourself there's no um prejudices that can be um you know had you know that old adage saying when they say don't judge a book by its cover well online and chatting to people online it's you're getting to know the person as the person, not by the cover, not by, you know, anything else. It's just the person. And that's what I like. I've slowed down a bit. I think it's because my arm, you hear the cat on the scratch post? I don't know. I've got to try and figure out where I can put that lemon unit once I've put it up. Oh my God. Comes to something, doesn't it? I've unboxed this unit that I've had out in the hallway for the past year, I think it has been. And it's one of these 10 drawer little units with a little tabletop. And I thought, well, I'll have that instead of my rickety old, um, um, tray table which I made into a little ironing board and also it's quite good for if you want you know if you say have gifts coming around and you want to be a bit push you can pull that out because it's not just an ironing little tray table it's it it's got a pretty pattern cover on the top you know fabric and I can just change that fabric when it gets a bit grubby underneath that fabric layer is um is uh, a bit of um, that insulation um, wadding. So I bought a lap table, one of those lap dinner table tray things, wooden job. I got them from uh, Argos and at the time they were $7.99, which was a bargain. Now they're up to like fourteen, sixteen ninety nine. Mm. And I was buying them shed loads. I was buying lots of those at a time. And um, and then I would cover it, staple gun a bit of um, uh, insulation Ujima flip over the top. And then I would, um, over the top of that, a fat quarter used to do it. And I used to just, um, an English fat quarter that is. I don't think it'd work for an American yardage fat quarter. But, um, but it might have done, might do. But um, 
Yeah, and then I'd staple that over the top and then you had a pretty cover. And then if the cover got a bit too craggy, you could just unstaple that top cover and put a new fat quarter over the top. So you could change it up to suit your decor and it folds away. I used to have mine sat underneath my table and I just pull it out when I needed it because it was like my little ironing board thing. But I've been using that because I've got quite a few of those left over. And I've been using that, um, well, three now, um, to store my drills on at the side of my table. But then it doesn't half get in the way and it does get cluttered up, ending up looking like Jenga and then things get stashed underneath it then it can't move and then it just looks messy so i've got this 10 drawer thing so i thought oh that'd be perfect i can fit kits you know even put you know the um the trays in you know if they don't have the cases you know i can put them in them and clear off my table so I can have one tray for um, cover papers, one for, you know, pens, what, you know, and all that kind of stuff, pens and trays and then one for the making the stickers and one for me patterns and, and stuff. So I've got to make that up, but when I got that out of the box. Oh my God, there's a workout in itself. You're shaking the box and your arms are getting heavier and heavier and they're hurting and they, your arms are slowly getting drawn into your chest ball because you just can't hold them outwards. You need some support and they, um, and you're shaking it and then suddenly it all drops out bar one item. And that's stuck at the bottom. And it can't, there's the cat out and you can't you know get it out so you have to take the box completely apart and then when you get the box out and you've got all the pieces out they give you packs of screws but in one bag of casters and i mean literally you would have thought it could have come with um some bits some of those bits attached but no they want you to completely and utterly build it it's definitely flat pack it's like an airfix model if you remember those and um and you know it's going to be an interesting job when they supply you with um gloves and they're not just any gloves i can't see them being very protective they're more like the the scraggy old pair that your your nan bought you one christmas from a from a you know pound shop or whatever and um and they, um, you know, they're stiff. They're made with that weird nylon type, not acrylic, even wool or not even wool, but syn totally really synthetic and it's stiff and they just sort of, you know, you can still cut yourself through it, but it's those gloves. So you sort of think, mm, okay. <laughs> if they're gonna supply the gloves, can't they supply, the I don't know it packed together you know some of the bits put together i don't mind flat pack but i would like flat pack where it's a little bit you know that's the unit And it does look pretty easy, but at the same point, I was there last night looking at it going, well, I can't do that. Can't do that. Look, gloves, pair of gloves. And I'm thinking, oh, God. Got to put the casters on, make sure the trays are the right way round so they slide in. Oh, I see. Like that other tree goes in the middle, right? Didn't see that at the time. I was going, what? I could just swing that around. Oh! 
help at yahoo.tech.shop. <laughs> Okie dokie, that's quite handy, I'd like to see. But look, they could have put supplied it with the knobs on, couldn't they? No, 10 trays and I've got to screw every single knob in. No, it wasn't this, I don't think. It was some something else, and it was it was the English. It was so funny. Oh, while we're on a moan on. Right. Oh, I've got that beef in there, I've got to cook. Um Oh, I'm having to get used to this watermelon one and I really don't like it. This Volvic, right? Touch of fruit, sugar free. I love that natural favours. Right, okay. On um, of our natural mineral water, right? Keeps going on about the natural bit, right? All very well. And then you come over here to the ingredients and still natural mineral water. Well most mineral water is natural, so they could do not put the natural in there. But then they say natural min mineral water flavoured drink with sweeteners that's not natural then is it because it's got sweeteners and then it just keeps going on natural mineral water 99.8 then you've got a, a acidity regulator citric acid why they just can't put citric acid in instead of the other bit natural watermelon flavoring well it's not natural is it it's just watermelon flavoring they do love their words natural Oh, with other natural flavouring. It's not natural. Ah, preservatives. We've got the sweeteners. We've got acetylflame. Okay, sucralose. So is acetylflame another word for aspartame? I bet it probably is. But you know, how they can say it's natural and get away with it? Because it's bloody well not natural and they and they use the word natural I don't know how many times but yeah it just made me giggle and I think if my head goes on one of those little benders that it does I might just um go onto Facebook um <laughs> uh, a site and just um mention it <laughs> Say it what it is. This is another part of the Aspie Mix. I've done it again. I've forgotten that I wasn't using my pen, wasn't I? This is another part of the Aspie Me. If I see something that's not what it should be, it bugs me. Yes, while I'm smiling about it, the first time I did it, I was like going, what? That's not bloody natural. How the hell can they get away with calling that natural? Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yes. And I did the timer on my iPad, so hopefully it won't share on my... But if we do get cut off, I will say it now. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. And I love you. And I will see you in the next one. Because the next one will be straight away. Well, for me, it'll be straight away. For you, it'll be another day. Even though they will be filmed and I will see how much I can do in one day in this today. But I'm not putting them all up together. And I certainly can't edit. So, um, a day spread out. Two thirty four, thirty two. It's counting down, and the more it's counting down, the more I'm there going, eh. And then you can't find the ones that are sort of, you know, bottom down. Getting all the ones that are standing on their heads. No, go away. Two or eight, two or seven. Oh, 1.59. Oh, come on. I suppose I should have done it all in one bit there, just to see roughly how much I can do in an hour, and then I could just transfer that over and see how many hours it's actually going to take me. And just think if I've been multi placing. Oh, don't do that end. Seventeen. Six. Three, two, there we go. Right, there we go, that's an hour. Now I know it says it's about an hour and nine, realistically, but by the time I set the, the timer, that, that is what we've done in an hour and nine, an hour roughly. Actually, yeah, forget the nine, because that's me nattering away, going in the fridge, letting the cat out. So, that's not bad, is it? Right, so I will love you and leave you for this time. And I'll see you in part two next. Tutty bye.